Hi everyone, it's Beverly from the Piece by Piece and it's been a while since I've done a project so here is a project that I wanted to share with you guys. It's using the Prima Divine Collection paper line and I taught this as a class for a private get together. Um, it was a bridal shower here at the store. So um, I made this project just for that class. And um, the majority of the women in that class didn't even know what a paper trimmer was. So it was my first time teaching and honestly it's been a long time since I've thought about my first time creating. So um, it was a little challenging at first but the women were so wonderful and um, you know so this was I thought was basic um, stuff that they could do but everyone did their own style and there were different levels I mean from beginner to advanced so we had a lot of fun so I tried to make this as basic as possible but here is the front part of the album I used some new trims from the piece by piece and I also used um, some resin pieces um, so this one has been on our collection for a while and then this one is one of our new ones and on this page, I left this part right here blank so they can put a photo or they could put um, whatever title they want for this album. And I bind, I binded this with the cinch. And this is an 8x8 album. And I used some pre marketing flowers and some of our flower sprays that we do offer on our website and also here in the store. And then some flourish and then some of this... Uh, vintage trim which is now sold out so I would I managed to save a piece for me so um, there's the front cover and then um, we distress the edges with the chipboard and corrugated board it's a mixture of both um, so the the outer page the front and the back page are corrugated cardboard and then the two pages on the inside is chipboard and then we've got some envelopes too in here and then so this is the back side of the front page and then what I did was I absolutely love this girl so I didn't do very much with her I just put some sickles to highlight her flowers in her hair and um, on her dress and stuff and then I added um, this chipboard that comes with the divine collection and um, the and adorned it with a, some butterflies, paper butterflies, and some of our sprays, gem sprays or candy, candy gem sprays there. And then on this side, um, I used some seam binding, black seam binding, and then I cut this paper to size for the envelope. And then I just made simple tags that we distressed the edges with a tonic distress um, tool. And then I used a punch by Fiskars right there to kind of made a banner and then here is the back side again um, the ladies that took this class I wanted them to have a lot of opportunity to be able to put pictures and notes and stuff since it was a bridal shower so I thought it would be very um, very important to make sure that there's a lot of space for for that and um, Here's some trim, and then again chipboard for the same collection. Cut out some butterfly, and then the butterfly that goes perfectly with the collection. And then here is the back side, and this trim also is new in our new release. And on this one, I just dabbed some uh, velvet, red velvet um, stain. Oh, goodness. Um, distress stain on here to change the color and I think the distress stain is one of my favorite inking tools or painting tools right now because I use it all over the place um, with seam binding too and then here are some acetate pages use some of those flowers and here's the back side of that and here's the other side and then we tore some pages, um, some paper up, and then we kind of tucked in some pieces of lace there. 
So there's that page. And then here is the back of that page right here. Uh, the images are so beautiful. So it was really didn't have to do very much um, to, de to decorate the, the pages. Um, and then here is these are these um, mini envelopes, coin envelopes that we just cut out of craft paper. And then here's the back side of that. And here's the front side of that. And again, some more chipboard and that little, that girl in a smaller version. And voila, this is the back. So I will be teaching this class one more time. There has been a request to teach the class once again, um, but I will have to modify it and change it up a little bit only because we're out of some of the items that I used. Um, but anywho, I just wanted to share with you guys uh, this mini album and have a great day. And um, if you have any questions, just go ahead and ask, ask away. All right. Have a good day, everyone. Bye.